Damn, I really do have a lot of nice merch on here. That's crazy. Oh, my bad. Yeah, go check that out in the description. Go check that in the description. Fang Gang merch. What's going on, y'all? We're about to talk about Tucker Carlson. If you haven't checked out the previous video I spoke about, him being quote unquote fired from Fox News, go and check that out so you can have full context. But to sum it all up, he gone. He, he's not on Fox News anymore. I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing. And I touched on that a little bit. I think that he could make a lot of money independent. Independent. He's like the biggest star, fam. So for them to get rid of him, mm, that's that's a loss. That's a huge loss. And I think that if he was to even just do something as simple as starting his own YouTube channel, he even put a Patreon on there, he would blow up it ain't even no probably he would blow up immediately and he would be like the the biggest commentator on youtube right i truly do believe that which would probably make it harder for up and coming people like me but who cares it's about the grind it's about persistence it's about you know perseverance right so yeah i do think that he has a plethora of options probably a bunch of offers other networks sending him offers his phone is probably blowing up right now blowing up so i don't think we need to worry about him don lemon that's a different story <laughs> i think he, he might be done so if he might have no other choice but to go independent to be honest i still do believe and if this happened man i, I swear they better at least be a minimum hire me but uh i think don lemon and tucker carson should should have like a, a podcast or something together right like a debate show where they just going at it. You get you like a mediator. Psh, that could be something special. I think that would be highly, highly entertaining. But that's just my opinion. And remember, if you see them do that, I bet y'all better protest to get BXB spoil your job. I don't got to be the narrator. Let me do something. Give me a segment. And yeah, give me something in the background. Let me write. Let me write or something. Let me come up with skits or something. something. Right? Let me, let me, let me. Get a little side job. <laughs> but Tucker Carlson, he came out and he was like, yo, I ain't standing for this. I know a lot of people are saying a bunch of negative things. Let me come out and let me tell you what this is really about. Let me tell you why I was quote unquote fired or decided to leave and set, set the record straight, which I, I extremely respect from him, man, I think that not that many people are going to come out here and be brave like that. You got uh, Don Lemon over there crying. Over there, uh, how did I know? I, I didn't know. I, did, I didn't know. Once I've been wilding for the summer, I didn't know. Go check out my previous video on Don Lemon as well. Let's get into this clip and then I'm going to share some more information and some more opinions with you. Good evening, it's Tucker Carlson. One of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country, kind and decent people, people who really care about what's true and a bunch of hilarious people. Also, a lot of those. It's got to be the majority of the population even now. So that's heartening. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. In five years, we won't even remember that we had them. Trust me, as someone who's participated. And yet at the same time, and this is the amazing thing, the undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. War, civil liberties, emerging science, demographic change, corporate power, natural resources. When was the last time you heard a legitimate debate about any of those issues? It's been a long time. Debates like that are not permitted in American media. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. That's a depressing realization, but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. They're brain dead. Nobody actually believes them. Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue, and so it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force. But it won't work. When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, 
they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. My man out here talking that talk, fam. If there's one thing I can say about Tucker Carlson, I ain't really rock 